Uh, sure, my name is Ibrahim Innam, and uh, I'm a graduate uh, research assistant at Louisiana State University in construction management. And today we are going to discuss uh, uh, high modulus asphalt concrete mixture that Sorry, uh, has been. Oh, we still don't see your screen. Okay. You see my screen? Yes, perfect. Go ahead. Everyone. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, this is Ibrahim and Lemon, uh, and I'm a research assistant at Louisiana State University Construction Management Department. Today, we are going to talk about the HMAC research titled Development of Cost Effective High Modulus Asphalt Concrete HMAC Mixtures Using Crumb Rubber and Local Construction Materials in Louisiana. Uh, presentation outline, introduction, objectives, background, and analysis, and results, and conclusion. Uh, the HMAC used in France for uh, more than 20 years, also called EME. Also used in Italy, South Africa, Belgium, and Australia. EME mixtures is stiff, durable, has high resistance to rotting and cracking. The HMAC mixtures consists of a hard binder and a high uh, asphalt concrete amount with a high quality aggregate, which is crushed aggregate with high angularity. Classified into two class, uh, classes with lower binder content in class one than two and lower cracking resistance and the cost due to the binder content. Similar performance in stiffness and rot and resisting the rot. Two classes were obtained. The objectives of the research is developing cost effective high modulus asphalt concrete pictures using local materials in Louisiana. Four mixtures were tested and compared to conventional super bead mixture. Moreover, estimation for uh, the long term performance and the cost effectiveness comparisons were conducted between HMAC and super bead mixtures. The design start point here is uh, a little different as HMAC design is governed by the performance, not the volumetric, as in the super bead meaning that the uh, design criteria or procedure is controlled by achieving steps performance test results, such that after selecting, selecting the aggregate and binder, performance tests can be conducted and compared to the required criteria. In other words, once we get the uh, theoretical density or GMM, we can start preparing the test specimen and uh, test them. Uh, to back up to the aggregate degradation, HMAC has more controlling points than super beef, and the uh, nominal maximum aggregate size is governed by the layer thickness. In Louisiana, nominal maximum aggregate size is 19 millimeter for the binder course and 12.5 for the wearing course. Sometimes 12.5 could be used in the binder course uh, layer as well. In all, there is no much difference here in the aggregate gradation, except that the tendency to make the mixture more denser by targeting the maximum the density line or max dense line, or be close to it. The binder selection, HMAC usually uses higher binder grade, 10 uh, over 20 penetration and uh, 15 over 25, that is equivalent to a binder grade, uh, performance grade of 88 minus 16. Here are the other characteristics of the binder that being used. The binder quantity is governed by the richness factor for class one and, and two. As mentioned, the class two has higher binder content than one, that the richness factor K is 2.5 in HMAC class one and 3.4 in class two. The richness factor is basically uh, depend on the aggregate surface area and gradation. After selecting the aggregate and the binder, directly we move to the performance criteria that we need to achieve. 
theories in uh, France, the workability criteria is that after ET gyrations by the solar wave compactor, the air voids should be less than 10% and 6% for class one and two, respectively. Class two is more denser than class one. So stiffness modulus is required to exceed 14 gigapascal. Similar criteria for rotting and fatigue resistance, but here we can, but uh, here we will use the uh, Louisiana Department of Transportation criteria for the rotting and fatigue. Uh, but for the dynamic modulus, we will use 14 gigapascal as in the, the French HMAC criteria. Let's go with the practical lab work here uh, in this research for conducting the HMAC mixtures. Here are the aggregates that were used, limestone 89, 28, and 11, fine sand and wrap. The binders we were used, uh, BG 76 minus 22 and 82 minus 22. Because the higher binder is not common, the crumb rammer was used uh, to hardening the binder 76 minus 22 to be 94 minus 16, using 10% of 30 mesh crumb rubber. In the mixture design, we have a super bit conventional mixture and 4 HMAC. The difference is we're in the binder type and drag percent. 76 was used in super wave, while 82 and 94 obtained by the mixing ground rubber were used in the HMAC mixtures. 20% trap was used for super wave and uh, two HMAC mixtures, while 40% of the RAB was used for the last two uh, HMAC mixtures. Putting the aggregate degradation was not easy, but possible. Uh, here is a job mix formula for the super wave mix design. And here is the workability check for uh, the HMAC mixtures, which is that the air voids after ET gyrations should not exceed 10% for class one and 6% for, for class two. As the four mixers HMAC uh, we have here, we're uh, targeting class two, so 6% was achieved by all of them after 80 uh, gyrations. Here at the beginning of uh, performance tests, starting with the rotting for specimen prepared for uh, LWT and super bathe, air voids is seven plus or minus one percent. However, in HMAC, the air voids percentage were, was uh, from 3 to 6%. So the HMAC usually is uh, denser than uh, super wave. Results showed that all the mixtures achieved Louisiana Department of Transportation criteria, which is uh, rotting depth is less than 6 millimeter after 20,000 baths. Uh, however, each Mac mixtures were uh, all better than the conventional. It's a, a good indicator for now. However, all the mixtures best the criteria for rotting. Uh, dynamic modulus to a specimen cord to 150 millimeter height by 100 millimeter diameter for each mixtures. Uh, a specimen were fabricated with lower air voids in each Mac than the super B as in rotting specimen. The results showed that HMAC mixtures have higher stiffness than the conventional mixture. However, not all HMAC mixtures achieved the criteria of uh, 14 gigapascal at 15 Celsius re uh, reference uh, temperature uh, with uh, 10 hertz frequency, as I stated, it's a criteria. HMAC mixture one, for example, did not pass the criteria and failed. H4 was the best. Similarly, semicircular bending test was conducted to check the resistance to cracking. The results showed that only the super B and uh, HMAC number two and number four passed the, the, the cracking criteria set by the design and development of transportation. However, H1 and 3 did not pass the criteria. We want to check back and try to mitigate. Please do so now. We have tried to take it any package check after 115 today will be subject to a 24 hour delay. Once again, final call the package check service for train 58. We also have a hard time to find the 22 weeks in with the RAP, which is 20% uh, and 40%. However, we have H2 and H4 containing the crumb rubber, based as a criteria. 
a more detailed look. Uh, HMAC 2 containing 20% trap achieved the best performance in cracking resistance, even better than H4, that contain 40% trap. This is logic as RAB accelerate cracking. H4 achieved the best stiffness modulus as RAB increase the stiffness. Overall, uh, H2 and H4 only the mixtures that achieved the HMAC criteria and Louisiana Department of Transportation criteria. So H1 and H3 will be, will be excluded from any further analysis. Now we have the super bead mixture and the HMAC two and HMAC four. We have three mixtures to continue the analysis, the analysis on. Looking to the cost effectiveness, taking road 1077 as an example for the ash to wear software, ash to wear analysis, two approaches were considered here. The first one is constant thickness, two inch binder course. And the approach results were rotting and cracking distresses for the three mixtures we have the super beef and H2 and H4. Those are three runs. Second approach was targeting constant distresses. However, the super beef mixture thickness will, that will be increased to achieve the same distresses as a two inch layer of HMAC mixtures. Those are four runs of the program. To consider the traffic as well, we have traffic low and high traffic. As annual average daily truck traffic was uh, 405 and 7,000 truck per day, respectively. Now we end up by uh, 14 runs of the Ashware software. Here is a detailed explanation for the variables in the runs. And here are the results of approach one using constant thickness. As expected, the higher traffic was more damaged to the pavement. Comparing the mixtures, bottom of fatigue cracking was higher in the super pave than HMAC mixtures. H2 is better than H4, which proves that the semicircular bending test results there is a match between the lab and the software ends. The routing performance was better also in HMAC mixtures than the conventional mixtures. Approach 2 results showed that 3.5 and 4 inches of super bead mixtures reduce the same distresses as a 2 inch thickness HMAC mixture. Here is a comparison uh, for the material costs that were used in the three mixtures. Super beef mixture cost was a little more than the HMAC material per ton, uh, cost per ton, so that the HMAC is a cost effective mixture. To conclude, now we have two mixtures out of four, best is the HMAC and Louisiana Department of Transportation criteria. H2 outperformed mixture super beef uh, in terms of dynamic modulus, rotting resistance, and the crack resistance. H4 had higher dynamic modulus and rotting resistance, but lower cracking resistance and uh, sober beam. H4 had higher wrap content, uh, 40%, than the H2, which is 20%. So higher wrap means higher dynamic modulus and rotting resistance, but lower cracking resistance. Uh, Louisiana Department of, Department of Transportation allows only 20% of wrap in asphalt mixtures with an aluminum maximum aggregate size of 12.5. So H2 mixture was recommended for Louisiana Department of Transportation. HMAC mixtures were more cost effective than the conventional Louisiana super wave mixtures and more environmentally friendly since they reduce the scrap tires in uh, landfills. Thank you.